Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron for vanilla but not really vanilla because we're using a special mod called Benito Eldritch's Wild Ride, a Hoi 4 horror mod in which we're playing as everyone's favorite Italian nation, Italy. But we have this focus, or not focus, well we do this unique focus here, uh, but we have all the generic stuff, the normal stuff with the DLC by blood alone, but even by means beyond our understanding. Benito has had enough. This constant ridicule, constant failures, people laughing at him, and all these focus tree branches they made to dispose him. That's enough! Mussolini will have his victory over Ethiopians assured, whatever it takes. The deal with the devil. Mussolini was alone in his cabinet late at night. On a desk before him lied old manuscripts and books, some from deep bowels of the Italian museums, many from private collections he requisitioned. Scripts that may hold secrets to achieving his dreams in these trying times. Suddenly felt some presence in the room as tall, slender figure entirely covered in yellowish cloaks stood before the Duce. Who are you? How are you? You already know who I am. Intruder responded with a sleek, echoing voice. You have read the text. I am here to fulfill your dreams to crush all enemies before you. All I demand in return is flesh and blood of humans of your choosing. The creature extended its hand towards Benito. I don't do it with lunatics. I can afford it. Show me what you're able to do. Wow, division defense on Rogazic go down with 90%. Why is it minus 256? Um, I'm not sure if we have anything else there. Uh, oh, yes we do. I'm glad I reloaded it. Yellowish Prince Informants. Since the beginning of our cooperation, the Prince, and more importantly, his network of spies, had, had informed us of whereabouts of numerous dissent, dissidents and enemies of the state we've been looking for. It'd be a shame not to expand on the assistance. War escalation decreases by one. Current intelligence agency. Two, two more operative slots. Oh, nice. Um, so we should be able to win this very easily then. Success in North Africa or Ethiopia. If you want to build that, please go ahead. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty disastrous. I think they have minus ninety percent. Jesus Christ. They have two organization. My God. That's a uh, kind of insane to think about. But we're doing all right here, as we should probably be. So also, I'll link the mod in the description below. It'll be the first link. But uh, success in South uh, Ethiopia. Time to do the Sultan of Alsa. Um, I've read this before, so if you want to do this again, please go ahead. Send ultimation. ultimation. Yes, please. And they fold. Good, let's move in and occupy the lands. They chose very wisely. Very, very wisely. Yeah. It'll be fine right there. Seven divisions, wow. Well. And they died. They had no, oh, they had no navy. What? What? Alright, well, I guess we'll see what happens next. I honestly have no idea what this focus tree is, or, you know, this submod has in store for us, so... I'm actually very excited for it. So if you're going to that, please go ahead as well. Ethiopian War Logistics is very nice. So you can tell Ethiopian War, abandon the naval treaties. Um, so, yellowish Prince Informants. I don't get nothing underneath it yet, so I don't really know. Pacify Ethiopia, bringing peace and stability, of course. Provide Italian photos as soon as possible, of course. Uh, we're already on uh, partial mobilization. I always like getting more political power here too, so we'll see. Maybe um, I just really want to wait and see what we do with this. I really just want to kill off Yugoslavia, but they're guaranteed by the French as well, which sucks. Good. I've, I've taken out Greece once by themselves. Germans and so we're also on a historical. I've taken out Turkey. I've taken out Greece. Uh, they're taking out Bulgaria. Albania will fold no matter what. Um, is there anyone else we really want to take out that we can't take out? Belgium. That'd be kind of nice, and I apologize for that buzzer in the background. That, if you heard that, that was my laundry being done. Um, Turkey would be very nice. Greece would be nice too. What am I taking out Greece? And then we get Romania as well. But then the, these guys are in the way. But if we go to Turkey again, we go through Turkey to Romania. We go here to here and get all that oil. That would be pretty nice, not gonna lie. I like that idea. I like that a lot, actually. They remilitarize the straits. Japan abandons the naval treaty. If you're about that, please go ahead. So we'll see what happens as we're going to be training all of our ships. Yay! And the subs, which are not very good, but whatever. Led by the sub guy. Dezara! Yeah, he's a sub guy, totally. Alright. Please don't crash on me. Horror in Africa. We did, and I can't believe how easy it was. We not only won our war with Ethiopia state, the Ethiopian state, we destroyed Ethiopian civilization with the might of our attack. The strength of our soldiers left the savages traumatized or running crazy to die in the deserts. We left the whole world shocked with the presentation of our capabilities. Better not to mention we, that we paid what well, we paid for the success, though. Freaking human sacrifice. Ooh. Well, okay then. A little bit of human sacrifice is okay. Mm. 
Do I want to do that? We'll see. I don't know. I'd rather spend my PP on other stuff. And horror in Africa. We still have all the other focuses we can do here too, which is really nice. Uh, we'll see. In the meantime, you guys switch to F3. F3 needs to be better. But we'll see what type of grand battle plan we go. We might go grand battle plan, we might not. I'll just choose these guys because I like them. I'll keep down the, the group here. Horror in Africa. Oh, Italian Anglo Alliance, huh? Alright, what was this one? Much of the world is still in shock, not knowing what really happened in Abyssinia. We should capitalize on that. Firstly, we will play on the fears of the British and revoke any unlawful actions they've done against us for the late King Selassie. Devaluate. Devaluate the Italians. Mutilate Avoro rulers. Oh, wow, look at the compliance. The new Yellow Emperor of Ethiopia. Terror continues. A way less the population, but better resistance growth speed. The president recently came to us with new demands. He wishes to be given a newly conquered Ethiopia as his old personal property. Mussolini is likely to bend to that will, as, as Ipsidia was mostly just a way to earn prestige in the land itself is hard to exploit by us. May God have mercy on those poor dudes. Oh boy. Well, as long as it's not us. Anchor by Turkish posturing, which would be nice. Thanks. Could have separated you out of here. Um. You guys are the real deal. These guys are the guys going to be naval invading from this group here. Um, there's a port there. I wouldn't mind attacking here. Station, station, attack, Izmir. That'd be good. And... There are three... So we'll make it eight. And two more. Nine, ten. So in the meantime, some of you. Oh, wait. Oh, you guys can't even do that because you. Duh. Five divisions there. We'll see if we can or not. Should be really good to take those groups out, but you never know. Ah, look at that political power. Prince of Terror would be nice, but we're going to grab some, some recourse. And, if, oh, well, we should have a way to get some more daily political power. Or army XP, my bad. Oh, well. Mutilate Amara rulers. Ethiopia is a far more diverse and splintered country than most believe. There are many groups susceptible to the influence of the Yellowish Prince. Given time, they'll turn into a fanatically loyal cult and pass by the region for us themselves. That is a hope. Dispersed, yes, please. Very nice. Terra continues with resistance growth speed. It's going up slowly still, but not by much. It's very nice. Devaluate the Italians. The people of Italy are frankly terrified by some of the recent decisions of our government. They're asking, what about when prisoners end? And when will lesser crimes such as parking tickets be enough to convince someone for death? We must launch or launch a great propaganda campaign to make citizens accepting, accept these sacrifices to desensitate them to it. Uh, speaking of it gets turkey, which is nice. Um, thank you for Turkish posturing. Still going up, huh? But in all honesty, it shouldn't be going by that much. If anything, it's actually going down now, which is good. That's the Ethiopia is done. Nice. Destruction. If you don't see them as people, it makes everything easier. Ah, resistance is going down. As compliance slowly inches up. Human sacrifices. Oh. The prince is always eager to take flesh and blood of our non-citizen subjects in exchange for power. Oh, sweet. More political power? Sweet. Awesome. I love it. Let's get more army XP. Uh, I'll go with organization for now. Mikhail Balbo. I like that guy. Air innovations. War on the air has become one of the most decisive fields of modern warfare. We can allow ourselves to fall behind in the crucial area. Expand our own flying schools. The growing complexity of modern planes comes with an increased risk of accidents if pilots are insufficiently trained. We must ensure that our flying schools keep pace with techni technical developments in terms of training quality, as well as keeping pace with the demands of new pilots caused by a growing military. Yeah, why not? Alright, so what's after this? Ah. 
Culto de Terror. Terrors what conquered Abyssinia. Oh boy. Terrors what avenged Adwa. Terrors what pacified colonial possessions and internal traitors. Worked hard for the past months to embrace terror as a state, and now it's time for the every Italian man to embrace terror himself. Truly believe in what terror is at their side, and I'll protect them and propel them to greatness. Just for robot times. Oh boy. Offensive war penalty modifier. Oh god, 70 day focus. Um, I want to do these two first, just in case. Um, we'll see when we get there, but we do want to go to Turkey. And well. as you can see here, we've landed in Turkey, having a good old time with the Turks and totally not getting rid of, uh, more Ethiopians and whatnot. But, you know, whatever. Um, we're trying to do an industrialization program, too. Um, we need more than 20 civvies, but we're working on that, so, yeah. Actually, instead of doing Emilia Romagna, which one is this one? Piedmont? Put them up here, since infrastructure is really good right there. Uh, we did go to war economy as well. Um, other than that, how much is it really going on? Cavalry, which is okay. We did Culto de Terror. Um, Terror, whatever, however you pronounce it. So, now we can do a new empire. We've cooperated hard to transform our state to better suit our cooperation with the Yellowish Prince. It's time for him to fulfill his part of the deal and grant us what we desire. That's right. Drugs! Um, railway, infrastructure, industrial resource, speed... I always do Agip. Dan Danieli? Sure, why not? As we're slowly pushing through Italy, uh, Italy uh, Turkey, hopefully. Uh, we don't have a great, perfect supply, but you know, we're doing the best we can right now. I don't think you guys can push out of there, but these guys will soon get to the front lines as well, which would be nice. Ooh, that's a combo, that's not good. As you guys are just going to town on these guys. Escalator Claws. Ooh, human sacrifices? That doesn't look at European. Okay, population goes down. Japan is killing itself. Nice. More political power? Awesome. I love the pee pee. Also, where are the other planes? Well, let's at least get some more casts in here. And bombers. That's what I think we could really use more of here. Tons more casts, tons more bombers, tons more of everything like that. Yeah, we'd push out of here. Even though it's a big old grind, and it is costing us quite a few men. Where's the War with Romania, too, which I did forget about, too. Whatever. Um, can you guys actually do this? Go from here to, like, here? That'd be cool. A grand request. Mussolini was on his way to his personal office, walking rather quickly. His body full of energy, he was returning from, returned from a meeting with French and English diplomats. What he saw in their actions and eyes was fear. They feared him. The entire world was afraid of the power that the Duce held. Naturally, he didn't explain to them what the power really was. They'd better keep, be kept in the dark. But he nonetheless planned to show them what this power, this power in action. Just as the doors opened, he saw the yellowish prince standing in the darkest corner of the room, scaring, uh, scarring Benito. You wanted to meet me again, didn't you? The creature asked, as Duce was regretting his composure. Yes, I want to ask, ask you again for a favor. I really want Italy to become an empire like the Roma of old. To span the Bay of Biscay to the Black Sea, from Sicily to the shores of the North Sea, heck, even the Baltic Sea. Can you accomplish it? The prince laughed quietly. Can I? I see all your dreams and your aspirations. I can set them all in motion, but for the performance you'll pay with your soul. A soul is a fair price. Ooh. Give it a day, maybe. Get to the next event, perhaps. Ag Agonic Re Revelations. From the early morning, the cabinet of Italian Prime Minister was in turmoil. El Duccio was found with his fingers seemingly having their bones removed, now dangling out of order, preventing him from doing anything with his hands. Even writing orders for subordinates and with his tongue held tied in a knot, preventing him from speaking. He walked around in his room, infuriated for a moment, just to become panicked for another and again infuriated. His subordinates and colleagues from the fascist party tried to help him. First, they called for physicians, but none of them have seen anything like that before and were all afraid to start an experimental therapy. Then the priests were called, but they were too terrified and the exorcisms they performed made no difference. The Duce was on the verge of a breakdown. He realized how much of his power came from just the ability to command other people. The ability he was stripped of now. He sat down in a chair in front of his desk. Almost all the desk space was occupied by the detailed map of Europe, with Italy at its center. Suddenly Benito, Benito puked with black ink that covered the borders of Italy perfectly. Then, against his will, his arm shot up and his hands landed on the ink from where his now fingers crawled in all directions, smearing the ink all over the map. With his end, Benito was seemingly cursed, his fingers and tongue working as intended, but on the map it seemed like the borders of Italy crawled in all directions on it, in narrow lines. Isn't it what you wanted? Whoa! Holy shnikes! Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, that's not good. We don't want to get all the way over here. Um. Bruh. Okay, well then. Um. Oh, we can't do this because there's Madness Flag. So we can't do any of this stuff, which kind of is, which makes sense. It's okay with me. I would really just remove it if we'd have to see of it. So. I guess in the meantime, I guess we'll do Army Primacy. In the last and final instance, our wars won, won by putting soldiers on enemy so soil and taking the things that need, the enemies need to wage war. While the army and air force are doubtless useful organizations, it's the army that wins the war. 
Successful industrialization program. Yay! You don't know about that? Please go ahead. Yay! We were successful. Don't ask us how we did it, but we did it no matter what. Yay! We're gonna abandon it. Screw it. He hasn't changed yet. I think you're on the verge of madness. I mad we would be too, truth be told. Nothing to get more compliance, which sucks, but whatever. That'd be nice if there was. Consumer goods would be nice, but eventually that won't really matter either. Uh, those are gentlemen? Sure, we'll go with that one too. My god, are we struggling here or what? Assessing the chaos. The Italian Senate was in even greater turmoil than the day the Duce felt ill. Everyone was busy assessing the situation. It seemed that Italy's borders really shifted. Ha, ah, the new border checkpoints appeared out of nowhere, and all the people caught in that expansion now knew how to speak Italian, and had documents proving their Italian citizenship. Benito was exhausted, constantly hearing messages from different countries um, that demanded explanation of what happened when he himself had a very little idea. Distracted by the argument between the two other politicians, he bumped right into the prince himself. Ah, you, you did that thing! Mussolini pointed his finger at the prince. Oh no, I let you do it. Rome figure responded, putting an emphasis on you. It is your dream that you are living now. It's not over, far from it, but you are on the right course. I'll leave you for now, as you seem to be busy. I'll introduce you to some people that'll help you. You know how to reach me when you need assistance. We still have to do with this mess. We get the Yellowish Prince. Non core map are plus 2%. Okay. Oh, we get the guy with daily compliance, huh? Exactly what I wanted. We're just racking up casualties here left and right. And we have absolute air superiority, which is good, so. We can see the trade unions and artillery. Oh. Wait, what? Turkey, Romania, and Czechoslovakia. Ooh, that is not good. Not good. I might have to do some funky stuff to make sure we don't die here, because we literally have like, no divisions being made. Except for like one. So, this is taking forever to get through. Oh. Where did the divisions go? Well, that's gas. Okay, so we can abandon that area. Come over here, maybe. And then... Have them come over right here, too. They're moving to Bessarabia, huh? Alright. Sure. Sweeney's joining Hungary, as long as they don't form a faction. House of Bernadotte. Oh boy. Alright, so this point we're losing here, so we gotta hold. Italian highways. Look at this one, too. Our research efforts have been long spread across different uh, areas around the country. This made things quite inefficient. We should combine our research efforts and found a sky city, in which scientists and engineers from many different fields of city can work together to build new generations of planes to come. Shape their lands. Connect all newly really required sub, sub supply hubs and build bunkers to defend our new positions. Mines. Core. I like that. We've got to wait because we're losing stuff. Ministerio dello Studio del Alcolto. A new position puts us at a clear war path with all the countries affected by our expansion, possibly with both the Anglos and Soviets alike. We can't rely on traditional warfare as the real odds are stacked against us. We're researching wonderful weapons that lost of time, and this is that we're never intended to see the light of day. Cool. Finish your business in Africa. With chaos overtaking the uh, European nations, their African positions lie practically undefensive. Their riches once taken will help us to on the mainland. We're fighting Czechoslovakia. Uh, we took out the Turks, which wasn't too bad. The Romanians are war with the Soviets for some reason, and uh, yeah, we're doing well. We're doing right now. We're trying to get back to where we're supposed to be at, but it's up to slow going. But we're doing the 10,000, 100,000 daggers campaign. It's time for the cults we plan in southern e Ethiopia to grow and overtake the whole region in one swift move. There'll be no resistance. We'll drown in the blood of that the circle in the sand, leaving no trace of it. Um, Cacciatore Cercacior. Uh, the first uh, research project of a newly funded ministry is based around an autonomous munition, a uh, hunter seeker, as someone call it, that will search for enemy soldiers on itself and strike with them with minimal interference from the personnel. Pacification of Ethiopia. Finally, managed to quell the resistance of Abyssinia from the high mountain tops to the low de desert plains as people are finding their place within the Italian fold. Delighted, Mussolini has declared that he could finally turn his attention to other matters so that Italy might prosper and claim the West right belongs to it. Italy reigns supreme. Nice. Through one way or another, they have been suppressed. Um, warfare, grand battle plan. I and mean, we don't really have to do it at this one, but we'll do it anyways because we can. So now we're going to try to spread through here as fast as we possibly can, even though we have no railways linking us through here, which really sucks. Really, really, really sucks. But I do the best we can, you know.
as we're trying to like, separate some divisions here and there, do some construction stuff. It is 1937, grab some expansions, kill all these guys off because they all literally deserve to die because they wanted to go to war with us, not us. We didn't want to go to war with them, but they went to war with us. You know, it is what it is. Air crash. Oh, you're going to build this place. Go ahead. Fortune is with them. You're not allowed to lose. You're forced defense no matter what. They're doing force attack, huh? That's nice. As we continue pushing through here too, which is a very nice. Motor board, yes please. Yes please. Even though we have no fuel, but what else is new? Get some rubber. Uh, both these should finish up very soon. Should be nice. Clean the continent mess. Or was this one? Mere Nostrum. There's no hiding. The new Italian boards are messy. They're far from perfect, but we can always make them so. It's only a 21 day focus. That's nice. Come on. The checks are not that strong. Quite literally, not that strong. As they are slowly abandoning their own borders. So. Good. Nope. Like, they wanted this war. I literally did not want this war. They wanted the war. Not us. Make it be known that they wanted the war, not us. Let's we'll go right there then. Literally cut them all off. There you go. There you go. Swiss so Confederation could help us trade gold. The tensions between countries rising across the world. Trade has become more difficult. If we find ourselves at war, buying options for buying and selling gold become even more limited. If we trust them enough, Switzerland's neutrality could be an opportunity for us to store our reserves and trade freely, benefiting our economy and ultimately our war machine. It's an idea. I don't know where they're really at, but go ahead. We can use them for now. And if there's anything you do, if you want to use people, you're going to abuse them, and that's okay. Oh. No penalties for speed? Yes, please. Ah, logistics wizard. And a throw plan would be nice too. Nice, nice, nice. How are we doing over here? We're doing okay, not great. Keeping them on the board though. You guys come up here too. Hey, oh, there goes Romania. Uh, we didn't do very much with them, so we can't really get too much. Can I get their ships in? No. Yeah, we're not going to be good very much. It's fine. Yeah, they made that a gigantic mess. Jesus Christ. Um, but whatever. Uh, people's Republic is capitulated, which is fine. Goodbye, you're gonna die. Uh, human sacrifices? Kazuye? Yes, please. Oil processing is very nice, too. Um, uh, Death George Stores, why not? Five, being five research slots is very nice as well. It's way too ahead of time to do that one. Naval stuff, hydrophones, why not? Good. Go in, out, and up, up that way. That's okay. Do the best you can. Uh, plain stuff, we'll go with that group. Fiat, it's fine. Kakatiora, Sarah Kator. Mussolini and members of the general staff were reminded of the newly retrofitted research complex of the Ministry of Study of the Occult. When Mussolini and other men reached the conference room, they were greeted by a weird man in a white overall, wearing what looked like two or three German, uh, German straw helms welded and riveted on top of each other. Greeting, fine gentlemen, for the intensive disclosure, I will be known to you as Dr. Yosef. Uh, Santos said as everyone seated on their places. In today's presentation, I am thrilled to introduce Katia Tora Seracator. Saying this, Joseph brought up a little metal tube the size of roughly a 37mm can of shell with a bell drill attached in front of it. The target seeking munition that uses human brain waves as a target over longer distances, and a small cerebral fluid in direct contact. It uses a little rocket engine to propel itself forward towards its aim and then it drills through the victim's head, protection measures in the skull itself. The doctor began walking around the table and people sitting at it. After the penetration is scored, an explosive charge destroys the hunter seeker and what remained of the head it drilled into. It's activated by an impact of the device and after that it cannot be deactivated. Joseph's speech was interrupted by him stumbling on the carpet and throwing the hunter seeker on the ground. Everyone froze their movement, all eyes on the little tube with drill on the carpet. Haha, <laughs> no need to fear, gentlemen. The impact I was telling you off has a rather strong uh, effect. Has to be very strong. We intend to transfer them onto enemy positions by artillery shells or aircraft bombs, saying that this he hit the head he hitted or hit that device against the summit, causing few people to panic react. Speaking of which manner would Il Duchi prefer? Second artillery shells, artillery attack, thirty five percent. Let's drop from planes. Air support. We're gonna beef up our boys with a lot more artillery then. We're gonna need a lot of artillery shells then. Because if we were to add this, it's only 28. 
Ground support's not bad. Close air support would be better though, but you know, whatever. Close air support would be nice interception. I guess maybe the other one would have been better, whatever. This is definitely not a way I intend to take out Czechoslovakia. Good best nice though. Literally just strolling on in through to get to Prague. Took a lot of casualties though. Sixty six thousand versus four hundred thousand, even though we're still losing weekly manpower and whatnot, but whatever. Um Katana de in pose. Hypnoso. The second part of said note is to be able to bind someone's will and explore total control of their mind and body. We're delighted to hear that. Nice. Yes, we are. Very much so. Level five is not bad too. I would have liked to Romania, but whatever. And we're beating up on both sides. If you want to be that, please go ahead. Divert the bombers. It's fine. Oh. All right then. A lot of real tension already. Human sacrifices. Oh, all right. So you guys. What do you mean we can't take everything? We deserve everything here. Want to guarantee people's republic? I don't really care about that too much. So much. Um. Well, we can take that too. I guess it is true they don't have any, uh, navy. Nice. Drink the military. If you want to know about that, please go ahead. I love human sacrifices in Stanislaw. Well, they're not. Uh, this is a very weird Italy. They're not human. I mean, uh, they're not Italian, so what's the difference? Um, in the meantime. Sure and sure. We've done a lot of resistance all around here. Eating up our manpower like crazy. We didn't get this guy too for more daily compliance, which is very nice. Upgrade time slot, which we do want to get through as fast as possible. Madness roars in the temple. It's rage. Rage against hostile regimes. Against all that is not Italian. Rage is all Italy needs of her people to fight on. Be they soldiers or factory workers? Absolutely. Ah, this must be the Turkish stuff. Good. Um, this map is the Volcan Fords. Yeah, that map is killing us right now. Yeah, we need to core all the states. Honestly, that, but that's the next best one to do. Core all the states that we've taken out or not. As much as I like this one, Appreciate their minds. We should simply win them with the blood and hands of the people living there alone. New, uh, new, all newly acquired lands. Does that include Turkish lands? Because that does. That's pretty broken. And all the Czech lands we acquired too, and the Hungarian lands, and part of the, even the Romanian lands that we have here too. That's pretty broken. If we can, if that happens. And you know what? I hope it does happen. Because we're running out of manpower. They just randomly all speak Italian. What a nightmare! If you have woke up, start speaking Italian. That would be bad, I guess. Could be a lot worse. You could wake up speaking French. Um, here, China declared war on China. It's pretty Chinesey though. Tration. Libya. Nope. Support. Yep. Oh, wait, to upgrade our planes when we get there. Hakari? Not Italian, so that's okay with us. Things. Why not? The extraction done soon, too. 1.3 every single day is pretty decent. Um, strengthen the army. Yeah, we'll probably need to do that soon, too. There's a colonial policy. They yeah, have gotten pretty much insane at this point. Which is fine with us. It's not us, so I don't really care too much, you know. So, strengthen heavy industries. Oh, well, darn, that sucks. More light screwsers. Screwsers? Cruisers. Um. Got the. Nepalese. 
Benito and the general staff met again in the conference room. Just like the last time, Dr. Joseph was awaiting them, this time with what seemed like welding goggles and a film projector mark behind him. Good evening, fine gentlemen. I hope you all took your seats. I unfortunately cannot tell, as the thing that I'm wearing completely blocked my eyesight. It is a protective measure. Similar ocular goggles lie before you on the table. I advise you to wear them yourself. Just. As it was putting the goggles on, it became apparent that it was short of one pair for the generals. Excuse me, but there is no... His voice cut off as Doctor activated the film projector, displaying the sight of unreal colors and shapes under the wall. It appeared only for a brief moment. It's safe to remove the oculars, gentlemen, and just as everyone started seeing again, they noticed one unlucky colleague who sat perfectly still with a thousand-yard stare. This is technology that allows us to bind people as well and make them a passive servant. Allow me to demonstrate. You, my subject, will stand up and take off your jacket. The unlucky general did as he was ordered. Now stand on your hands, despite his rather bulky appearance, the general managed to do that perfectly. Excellent. I will stop this and end this presentation now, as I don't wish to earn a lifelong vendetta from the gentleman. I have to add that the facts are temporary, and as you possibly deducted, the hypnosis strips the subject of any initiative, leading to be extraordinary, extraordinary, extraordinarily passive behavior. What is your call of duty? Limit uses convicts. Enhance the workforce. More, way more growth. Soldiers will be fearless with this. Way more organization. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Madness roars in the temp his temples. In the temples. Uh, rage. Of course, there was one earlier, so. It's all not, it's not Italian rage. It's all Italy needs for people to fight on. Be the soldiers, factory workers? Oh, you betcha. Mascella c'è vomitano. Vomitano senere. Hold on, so let's take a look. See, they record everything. Just they nearly record lands. Okay, didn't record everything. That'd be well. Record all these lands, which is pretty actually pretty awesome. Uh, I wish you recorded the trigger signs too, but whatever. It's all right. Um, could use more planes, maybe airframes. Could use just normal planes too, but whatever. Hey, she well, yes. Yes. The third project that caught Ducci's attention is critically labeled as an unorthodox way of denying enemy air support and close air support. Uh, seeing as we will certainly face off both RAF and Lupapa, this could be a game changer. Absolutely. Hey, let's get better gun stuff. No 35 day focus. Nice, nice, nice. Putting all sorts of stuff up here was awesome. Nope. 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 Okay, go to war with these guys too. That's a long time. I guess we have to wait because, you know, of that thing that happened to us. Called some words. Huh. They are monstrum. Fiamma Selvaggia. In a late-night phone call, head researcher of the occult ministry had told Mussolini with a rather grim voice that they produced their most vile and destructive weapon as of yet. We must investigate this. Light up the sacrificial pyre. Boil blo blood boils in their veins. Add three army skill. Wow. Our generals are ready. Their lust for blood is unmatched. They cry out for a chance to annihilate at the enemy. They sharpen their skulls and line by the righteous fury. Nice. I said that one. Um, I'll give you that one. Light up the sacrificial blood stuff or Mare Monstrum. Oh, so oh god. Let's see what that one's like first. Quick Indian movement. I would like to go to war with my people, but I guess we'll wait and see. We're really building up our bases here of industry. I love people and sacrifice. So that one's heavy compact. So we go to Istanbul. They have 1.08 million people. Do that. They definitely lost more people. So is it the more people that they have in a province, the potentially higher resistance strength they'll have? Maybe. America going to war with other people. We'll get more people from them. Some of that. 
There's a fucking fort. We have a monstrum. Oh, I still want to keep this too. Get that as fast as possible. Maddening of the sea. Mussolini stood on the balcony of a Sicilian villa. The balcony overlooked the sea, and the Benito's eyes were focused on the waters, but the sea itself became mad. No, close this one too. Colossal waves appeared uh, out of the blue and were traveling in all directions, defying laws. Whirlpools and currents appeared at random. Duce was watching his few fishing boats who were even trying to reach a shore, shore in panic. When one of them fell over, he saw enormous black ships moving swiftly just underneath the surface. Closing his eyes, he imagined that the Sardinia itself grew fins and started roaming, roaming the Mediterranean. Is it like that everywhere, he asked? Everywhere from Gibraltar to the Suez to the Bosphorus, the yellowish prince responded. And what can I make of it? The prince laughed quietly. You'll be the only one to traverse it and live. Master of the Mad Sea. Much more accident chance, but way more damage and fuel, Navy fuel consumption takes over. Light of the sacrificial power. Storms overtake the Mediterranean. In recent news, great disturbances was felt in Medi Med. Waves seven stories tall, and record-breaking winds have made the sail through the sea impossible. Following as many island territories of continental states, ended without contact with the metropolitan part of their countries, being left on their own. We will rule the Mad Seas. Oh. Of course, the Republic's here. Spanish Civil War is almost done. Oh, God. The SSR... Triple SR is not looking so good. Well. Anti subs. I guess capital ship stuff, I guess. Monsieur le chef Vomito Ushisenera. This visit was different. Mussolini's men were invited to the field in the middle of nowhere. Oh, we can go to where these guys do. Right next to the enormous tent. From beneath the fabric emerged Dr. Joseph to his. Uh, to his waist attached a rope. Greetings, fine gentlemen. Excuse me for unsanitary conditions. A new project cannot be presented in places with concrete foundations. Allow me to introduce you to Masiela Chef Vomito Senera. Uh, just as Benito entered the tent, he saw I, the sides of a tank glaring open in the ground. After he was handed a rope for the security, he looked into his horrid creation and saw that it went down many meters deep in the soil, with new rows of teeth and purple gums every five meters. He could only see five of such rows of teeth before darkness covered them. What does it mean? What is it? He barked at the doctor. Ah, it is a biological device that we learn how to move, grow quickly. Quickly grow and neutralize whatever it need be. And when it oh, oh, awakes, it vomits, it vomits vast amounts of ash into the lower atmosphere, creating a thick cloud that would cover Armin and cities from the night of sight of enemy aircraft. Benito's head was spinning. Oh, but it brings more good than harm. Wow. I guess I should just do this and just go there and do that. Might be able to, probably, in all honesty. Um, who else can we go to war with? Malta, Cyprus, Hellenic Republic. Oh, okay then. Well, they're not guaranteed by anybody. And there they go. Very nice. Good job, guys. Lambs for the slaughter. Mussolini moved along the lines of his soldiers. His wars would be the more fitting term. Gone with the Prussian ped pedantism. The undistinguished mass. Now all in every war were probably carrying their trophies of bones and strips of banners of the enemy. They all carried melee weapons of all shapes and sizes. Some swords, gladiuses, were popular axes and hammers. Your soldiers are eager. The yellowish prince whispered into Benito's ear. They're thirsty for war and conquest. Benito sighed reveling in the moment and in feeling of power and command. They will have it, Benito poised, pointed to the horizon, where Yugoslavia lied and shouted, Bring me their skulls! Master of the slaughter! Attacking his minor countries. Attacking division speed. What does that mean? Attacking division speed. Soviet Romania, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria. Oh, that would go to war these guys too? Oh, that's nice. I guess if anything, we can go to war these guys first, maybe. Are they in a faction, though? They are. Hmm. Oh, they have no navy. What? Oh, I never thought of that. Fourth International. Bloods in the veins, cold sex, and secret war networks. All those wicked underground societies that exist in our colonial possessions have not yet run out of usefulness. But they let off their leashes and sat loose on British colonies. Burning bombers. Super aerial. 
The idea is a small group of planes flying here and there along Ghana, a modern air campaign in many ways similar to complexity to any land-based undertaking. As such, we need a specialized planning staff to coordinate our various squadrons so they can act together to accomplish their missions. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, GNC, huh? Should be fine what we're doing here. They are gonna all die here though. Let me know what else is new. This is new tanks, nice. Lithuania. Three for a thousand have died. They, now they all died. <laughs> ah, they're just spreading through Bulgaria like crazy. Nice. Very nice. Beautiful. My god. And Sophia's ours. Now we're really doing a lot of war goals here, which I love, love, love. Medium tanks, now we're good. Um, go 100%, 100%. We're building squads, each other like a wave. Like a wave. Tommy hasn't slept in days. He and his company were stranded around dozens of miles from the Suez, being intercepted by numerically superior rebels and forced down to dig down, waiting help. Just didn't make any sense. Local government was overthrown overnight, and both Egyptian and British forces were demoralized in fear of fighting organized rebel attacks for weeks. Even Tommy understood on his own that the rebels were organized. They constantly sent the groups that harassed Tommy's company whenever British inflicted a number of casualties on harassers. The group was pulled off and were replaced by another, perhaps helpless, so far away. Suddenly, Tommy couldn't believe his eyes. A column of British troops, sun-tanned and hard of soldiers, were marching under the British flag, approaching from the east. Great joy spread through Tom's company, and improvised parrots were quickly torn down to welcome the reinforcements. Just as the marching column was a dozen yards from the defenders, they stopped, aimed at their rifles, and fired. Tom and his company was attacked on the, by their own troops. But King Country, ah ha 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 ha. Oh god, they're gonna rebel really hard, real fast. Dark prospects. I understand more than you could possibly know. Nine thrones. Nine truths. Nine sorcerers. Oh, and they just immediately rebel. Nice. I'll get all the Horn of Africa. That's pretty cool, too. Nubia. There's a bunch of fascists here. Nice. Egypt is here, too. Pretty cool. Give them a little more time to get organized. Purchase seat battalion ships. Uh, the Portuguese government, of course, was aware of the lack of a proper navy, as it submitted a tender to purchase battalion ships. To accept to build the ships they desire, they will provide us with goods we can use for their own purposes. Yeah, why not? Guaranteed by the French, huh? This would be a giant mistake. If we can move fast enough, we can just take them out really quickly. And then, uh. In fact, beat up the French. The French are by themselves, right? We could try it. If we move fast enough, we should be fine, but you know, you never know. Get you guys out of here, too. Move fast enough, we should be fine. I need you guys to just force it and go. Nice. 
nice convoys. Oh, I forgot about North Africa too. Fiamma uh, Selvaggia. Uh, mostly in general staff entered the conference room once again, but this time it fell off. The detector. The doctor was dressed completely normal. No vests, helmets, mostly shields, just him and his whole white overalls, and something hit it under a cliff behind him. Greetings, gentlemen. He welcomed eyes. He welcomed everyone, this time without the usual energy in his voice. It sounded like he had something in his mouth. Before you're laying little boxes with mouth tablets inside, please take the tabs and put them in your mouths. Do not chew on them. Do not swallow them. What's inside? Asked one of the generals. Cyanide, the doctor responded. The general asked a question and spit out a tablet. With what I'm about to show you, the quicker death option is the only way I can safely guarantee to you, gentlemen. The atmosphere in the room turned extremely tense, as Joseph moved back to whatever he held under his cloak. This is a Fiamma Salvagia. Wild flame. He removed the cloak, uncovering a large glass jar on the stool. Inside the jar was a little glimmering flame. It followed the doctor as he was walking around the jar. Special mixture allows the flame to, excuse me, as there aren't really a proper word in human vocabulary to describe it, let's say, crawl in the direction of a nearby living creature. The bigger the flame, the more rapidly it moves. This glimmering here hardly crawls inside the jar, but a proper firebomb would spawn a beast traveling tens of meters in a matter of seconds, capable of hunting humans over hundreds of meters. When dropped nearby in a, a bunker, will seek its ventilation entrances and fire holes aiming to completely cover the inhabitants. It's able to destroy enemy tanks in a similar way. Due to the safety reasons, it cannot be fired from flamethrowers. Instead, it should be delivered via artillery shells or aircraft bomb. What do you say, Duce? A thunder from a camp will be enough to offer enemies to surrender. A place to scorch the world. Strategic bomb, which you don't really do. Air support mission efficiency. Well, let's, can we maximize artillery? We'll try to maximize it as much as we possibly can. Um, that's a French Navy there, too. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Belgrade is ours. Destroy all his enemy divisions. Yeah, we're gonna go too. Necrominion. Necronomicon of Revelations. Oh, wow. Deep down in the basements of his mansion, Mussolini saw, Mussolini saw sights beyond his wildest imagination. He saw colors he couldn't knew existed. He saw ships no, so bizarre yet so painfully real. He saw beasts uh, move through the walls, po pe people with heads of the dogs, worlds orbited by many moons, and so much more. Was it all real? He asked hesitantly. All had much more than you did not see, responded the yellowish prince. And I will save me, the prince chuckled. These ancient powers will go where you please. Master the esoteric arts. Nice. I love that we can still, still do all this stuff too. Nine thrusts. In search for long forgotten knowledge, we have found answers to pervasive and esoteric. So answers so pervasive and esoteric that they must have led the original recipients to madness and obscurity. But ours will be much stronger than theirs, and we shall not prevail with the mantle of knowledge, but also benefit from it. Uh, we should do this one too, our generous bloodied ham. It's a shame that the also glorious British Empire can't deal with some backwater rebels. For sure, they can still count on us to enter in with the troops and bring back order and turn to Alexandria. But I think I'll end the episode here, because we do need to end it, and we'll get to the next one soon. So, if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know what you think of this mod so far, and I will see you tomorrow, as we'll probably finish out what this mod has in store for us. Thanks for watching. Have a great Italian bony rest of your day.